Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM, where we continue with this month's salute to the 100th birthday of United Artists, the studio founded in 1919 by Charlie Chaplin, Mary Pickford, Douglas Fairbanks, and D.W. Griffith. Up next from 1973, Elliot Gould stars in Robert Altman's screen adaptation of the Raymond Chandler mystery, The Long Goodbye. Gould plays Philip Marlowe, Chandler's signature literary character in a manner movie audiences had never seen before. Marlowe had been played on screen often, most notably by Dick Powell in Murder, My Sweet from 1944, Robert Montgomery in The Lady in the Lake from 47, and Humphrey Bogart in The Big Sleep from 1946. Significantly, Altman and Gould's take imagines Marlowe after a big sleep, like a 20-year nap, whereas the most famous Marlowe portrayals were traditional film noirs, The Long Goodbye is set contemporaneously in 1973. Altman described this Marlowe as Rip Van Marlowe, as if he had been asleep for 20 years, had woken up and was wandering through this landscape of the early 70s, but trying to invoke the morals of a previous era. Altman created an effective imbalance with this idea. You're drawn into the story, the mystery, but you're not quite sure if you're watching a story set in the 50s or the 70s, but you were certain that Gould, as Marlowe, is a singular man working from his own code of conduct regardless of era. The original idea with a script by Lee Brackett, who had adapted The Big Sleep for Howard Hawks 27 years earlier, was a more traditional Marlowe with Robert Mitchum. Notably, Mitchum got a chance to play Marlowe two years later in Farewell, My Lovely. By the time Robert Altman came aboard to direct, Brackett's script already had a controversial ending and Elliot Gould was signed to play Marlowe. Altman was excited to work with Gould again. He'd starred in M.A.S.H. for Altman three years earlier. But it was the way the long goodbye ended that really seduced Altman. If Brackett hadn't written that ending, Altman told film historian David Thompson, I guarantee I wouldn't have done it. Here it is from 1973 with Lee Brackett's controversial ending and also featuring a dynamic performance from Sterling Hayden and a brief uncredited appearance by a bodybuilder named Arnold Schwarzenegger, this is The Long Goodbye. 